Hey everyone, I'm outside the National Museum of Fine Arts in the Philippines. Today I'm just going to do a lot of touristy things in Manila City. Um, I'm staying in Makati, which is kind of a city out in the outskirts of the main area. So let's go check it out. All right, so I just got in. It's free entrance, which I was surprised about. Um, you can't really use a selfie stick in here or... Um... All right, I just got out of the museum. It's free. They said I couldn't take videos. You can't bring selfie sticks. And, but yeah, the museum was pretty nice. It's like four floors from art ranging from like pre-1900s, I think, to modern day art. Um, I love the modern art. They also have a lot of like design things like um, furniture and things like that, like modern furniture designed by Filipino designers. So I really enjoyed it and I can definitely recommend coming here. You can definitely spend at least an hour here. The architecture is super nice as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go on to the next thing in the city. So I'm walking around in the main area. There's a high school here, so there's a bunch of like little kids. But on the side of the road, there's like a bunch of like street stalls as you can see here. Um, they kind of serve the same things like the, the fish balls, fried fish balls, and other other types of like meatballs. All right, it was raining outside, so went into some random bakery cafe. I got a pandan, um, pandan soy drink, and a ube cheese pandesal, which I guess is like a ube bread with cheese inside. Let's taste it. Oop. Ube bread. Inside should be some cheese. Yeah, let's test it out. Mm. Look. The consistency is really thick, but you can really taste the ube flavor and the cheese. It's really good with it too. Mm. It's a good snack while well, I'm trying to find a restaurant nearby. Yeah, this bakery. Balai kind of sell. It's a good choice if you need a small snack. All right, it stopped raining and now I'm at the UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's the San Augustine Church. Take a look at this. It's one of the four Baroque churches of the Philippines described in the 1993. This is a celebration of the 50th anniversary of the World Heritage Convention. I was so sad. There was a little kid asking me for some coins, but I didn't have any coins. <clears throat> this is inside the church. It's actually super nice. You can see all the details in here. The church was really small and it only took a few minutes to like really go in and see what was inside. They kind of block off many things in there and it's not a really a big church, but it is definitely beautiful and it's worth visiting. There's a lot of locals offering like tour guides um, and they'll just come up to you and kind of haggle you. So if you want to like support one of the locals, you can definitely get a tour guide. I like to just do my own thing and walk around, so unfortunately I have to say no to a lot of them. So yeah, those are your options if you're here and you want to have someone explain to you what every cultural site in this old town is. 
All right, now I'm outside the Manila Cathedral. It's one of the sites to see here. As you can see, a lot of tourists here, and there's some stands outside, so let's check it out. It's just another cathedral. This one, it's not as nice as the one before, but. Everything is really close to each other, like all the sites you can see in the old town, so I think it's worth checking out. All right, guys, now we're in the Fort Santiago. It's 100 pesos to get in. If you're a student, it's 50. It's a little humid out, so I'm a little sweaty, but Here's the area. You can see a lot of old buildings. Now we're walking towards the fort. I think it's the main attraction. Entering the fort now. This open space was used for military drills, marches, and arms. It's a monument to Jose Rizal. He's a national hero matriarch. This is the old theater. You go to the edge, it's a really nice view of the waters. There's even this little kid paddling. Oh, there's more kids. <laughs> it's the Falsa Braga Media Narang. This is a nice viewpoint out here outside the fort. 